Hey bro, um, just wanted to show you a um, very important thing here um, called editing. Like when you, uh, like like say if you're putting your vocals down, any kind of instrument, whatever, whatever the case may be, vocals, you know, guitars, you know, bass, whatever. Um, if you make a mistake, um, you know, and you need to fix it, but everything else is good, so you don't have to re-record everything again. You know what I mean? So, uh, for instance, uh, this is that song that I put together for you in that other video. Um, I noticed uh, on this first guitar right here that I made a mistake. It's not really a mistake. It's just uh, uh, the chord was hit wrong. But uh, I'm going to solo this track, and you'll hear it. Did you hear that right here? When I go into that change, listen. It's like really bad. So anyway, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back a little bit further. Like you see like where it's at, it's right, right around here. Like right there. So I'm going to split, I'm going to split it. Uh, you don't have to, you can split it anywhere you want really, but uh, you know, get it close to where the, the, the mistake is. So you, you just take your, you just click, right? You click on the spot and your timeline goes there. Uh, keep your mouse right where it's at and right click and select split. Okay. Uh, click OK. Now go over here and, and drag this back a little bit because this part's good. You know, all the way up to, you know, there or further. It's kind of good all the way. You know what I mean? It's like, you know, it, it screws up like right around here, this point. You know what I mean? So I'm going to drag it back a little further than, than I did. I'm going to drag this over a little bit, you know, because the rest of this is good. All right, so now I'm going to arm this track. And I'm going to go up here, make sure that... Um, let's uh, undo that. Sorry about that, man. I'm going to uh, make sure that... This is sound on sound. See that right there? Sound on sound. Make sure that's click sound on sound. I want to arm this track. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hit the record button right from here. All right. And then I want to play along with it. All right. So I'm going to hit the record button and I'll show you how to fix this. All right. So we got rid of that real bad part that was in here, right? I'm going to even take this a little further, like down in there maybe or something. It doesn't really matter. Just I'll show you what I'm talking about. So you're going to arm your track. Make sure that input monitoring is on. And uh, let's go for it. Now you just want to play along with this. Let me see if I got that right. Let's see. Click over here. See, I still don't like that. So what I'm going to do is go up here to edit, right? Click undo recording. And let's do it again. Because I want to get this chord like, like, like this. Tune the guitar. Let's do it again. All right, hit the record button. Just make sure you have this is all solo so you can hear the drums and all. Uh, here we go. Back 
here. Alright, I'm going to redo that again. I don't like it. Listen to that, solo the track, bring it bring your timeline over here, let's listen to that change. <laughs> to, to me that sounds great. A lot better. Alright, so you started recording back here, so you want to grab this, right? And go over here like that. Now you see where it's stopping? Just bring it over till it, it meets the other part that you cut and drug over and go over this side and grab that part and where that stops you want to bring that over all right let's listen to this there we go so that's it right there let's let's listen to it within the mix <coughs> That sounds damn good. That bass sounds really good. <laughs> Holy shit. But anyway, um, so um, I'm kind of glad I wrote this riff. I kind of dig this, man. I'm going to uh, I'm gonna finish this song out. I'm going to actually uh, write the whole song. So um, I think it sounds pretty cool. Um, but anyway, uh, so that's how you edit, man. And like I said, like even like... It doesn't matter, like, you know, if you got a bad spot over here, you know, you just click over there. Remember, click in the spot approximately where you're at. Put your, make sure your mouse is on, you know, or close to that line. Right click. Select split. Hit OK. And there's your split right there. You can drag this over if you want and, you know, uh, and then record this part. You know, come back here a little ways, you know, and play to it. Make sure you arm your track. Input monitoring. over like I was telling you until you know until that spot that you cut out is showing bring it over okay we recorded this all the way to the bottom whoop I didn't want to do that and then bring this all the way back over there and you should be good <laughs> Not too bad. I don't like that pinch harmonic. And I didn't me mess up this part anyway, but I'm just kind of showing you what's going on. It'll probably sound good to mix it. <laughs> yeah, too much pinch harmonic. So I'm just going to get rid of this. Just uh, select it. Go up here, select it until it turns that color. Hit delete on your keyboard. Okay. Drag this over. And you have your part back again. So it never deletes, it never deletes what you got, what you drag back, you know, so remember that. So if you, if there's like a spot where, you know, you're like, ah, eh, you know, I, I wish I would have done this, but it sounds pretty good. You can always drag this back, drag it back. And that's the original track. That's the original recording. <laughs> Much 
much better pinch harmonic right there. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, so that's it. And that goes, that goes with everything, man. You know, like your guitars, whatever, whatever you record in here, you can edit, you know what I mean? You can, you know, do whatever you want, um, you know, to it. Uh, so that's, that's editing and recording. Uh, just make sure you're up here on sound on sound. Like, uh, I was telling you before. Oops. Got to arm that. I forgot. Yeah, make sure you're on sound on sound. Comping's good too, man. You can also do comping, you know, also. So that, that works that way too. So, but, uh, I always do sound on sound. That way you can hear what's before it, you know, coming, you know, you hear what's coming and then you just keep playing on and you can play right over top of the part that you recorded because you can always drag it. You know what I mean? Like this part right here, you can drag that back you know, or whatever you want to do there, you know, so, and that's it, man. That was like sound on sound right there, because uh, I drugged this over too far, you know what I mean, so, we're all good, man. But if you know, I hope you understand what, I'm, what what I was doing. Remember the bad part. Just get as close as you can to where it's at. You know, you can be in front of it or back. It doesn't really matter. Just as long as you split. You know, bring your timeline over. Right click, select split. Click OK. Drag this back a little bit. Drag that back, and then record your part. Come back a little bit here. Hit record. Play play along with it. And then, you know, do your, um, uh, your dragging back to the, the parts where you just took out all, all this right here. All right, so I'm going to go up here to edit and undo that. Undo that clip. And there you go, man. We're back to square one. Uh, there's really nothing that you can um, screw up. You can always bring it back. The other really important thing to do is... Um, is try to remember every so often go up here to file and hit save not save as save okay and it saves your uh, your progression you know along what you're doing right here because uh, you never know when this program might um error out and then everything that you just recorded for the last you know four hours or whatever you spent will be gone you know what I mean? So just remember every once in a while, every couple minutes or five five minutes, ten minutes, go up here, file, save. You know, the more you get used to doing that, the better. It doesn't matter how many times you do it. You know what I mean? Just, you know, you do a track, go up here, file, save. You know, that way if it if the program errors out and, and uh, shuts down, uh, you're safe. You can bring it back. All right? So I hope this helps, dude. And uh, it's just one more thing that you'll, uh, you'll need to know for sure, you know, um, and that's it. But uh, I hope you have a great day, man, and uh, I'll talk to you later. All right.